Steven should be live. Hey, Paul, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi, Steve. Hey, hey, man. Um, hey, I know you're uh, you're balancing a lot right now. Um, but what, what uh, did, did you, as far as your club situation, um, did you request to transfer a trade, or and if so, why? Where where do you think things stand? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, I think I won't go into too much detail, but um, you know, this is the most important year of my career, um, and you know, I'm. You know, like like most players, always looking for, um, you know, the best opportunity and situation to to be the most successful in. Um, you know, I have, I still have a great relationship with DC. Uh, I'm still currently a DC United player, so uh, if things were to to move on, then you know, obviously it, it'll it'll be mutual. Um, and if not, you know, I'll I'll be at training camp uh, as soon as camp is over and, and ready to roll. Great, thanks, Paul. Next will be Doug McIntyre from Fox. Thanks, Michael. Hi, Paul. Good to see you. Um, CONCACAF announced about an hour ago um, that VAR is going to be implemented for the final two qualifying windows. You seem like a good guy to ask. There was a couple calls that went against you in that Jamaica game or the fouls that you suffered in that Jamaica game in October where guys might have got sent off if there was review. Uh, and also you're part of the team last cycle that, you know, there was a goal that, that Panama scored that didn't cross the line that, you know, if that hadn't happened, you guys might have gone to the World Cup anyway. So just curious your take uh, on this switch. Thanks so much. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the bringing in the VAR is is going to be good. You know, it, I think it's helped um, leagues around the world and, you know, it'll help international uh, soccer, especially for us, um, you know, where, you know, there there has been games and moments that, that can be decided based on, uh, you know, a, a referee's call. So uh, for me, I think it's good and, and, you know, forget about what's happened in the past, but I think it's a great, it's a great time to, to add it in, in, in such important games leading into uh, the World Cup. So um, yeah, I, I'm excited about it. Next will be Ron Blum from the Associated Press. Hi, Paul. Thanks for doing this. Looking at the forecast for the three games, it's going to be 18 to 25 degrees and chance of snow and wind. Have you ever played competitive soccer in conditions like that? And is there a danger to you guys getting muscle pulls and getting hurt in that? And how do you prepare and get through that? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, look, I think the staff, um, you know, on the national team do a, do a tremendous job and we have full confidence in them um, to prepare us. And obviously we have our own duties uh, as professional players uh, and players on the national team to be as, as, as ready as possible for every condition. Uh, I've played in some cold weather, weather before um, and I think most of, most of the players on this team have. Um, and, you know, it, I think it's an opportunity for us. Uh, you know, we're going to embrace it. We're going to be ready. Um, you know, the, the fans will be there. And, and regardless of the condition, uh, our goal is to go out there and win uh, and, 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 and play the best of, you know, the best to our ability, no matter, uh, you know, what the, what the forecast says. Next will be Daniel Nora from Univision. Paul, ¿cómo estás? Hola, Daniel. Eh, quiero preguntarte por, por tu futuro, eh, qué tan al tanto estás de, de lo que ha surgido hoy con, con Dallas eh, y también con, con Charlotte y cómo eso eh, te motiva o quizás te distrae un poco en, en días tan importantes de, de la próxima ventana de eliminatorias. Sí, es obviamente un, una buena pregunta. Eh, sí, lo que, lo, que, lo que yo pienso, lo que... Lo que me siento es ya ya quiero eh, ya quiero tener mi, mi cabeza libre para para los partidos que vienen con la selección obviamente ahorita ese es el más importante para mí eh, ayudar la, la selección Ob obviamente ahorita eh, la situación del, del club es es poquito complicado eh, pero bueno la verdad no no puedo hacer mucho eh, tengo que tener fe en en cada club y, y situación eh, y ahorita estoy con la selección inten, intentando enfocar en, en el campamento y, y lo que viene. Next will be Jose Humano from WTOP. Hey Paul, how are you doing? Um, how, how uh, with everything going on in terms of your future, what kind of discussions have you had with not just 
your coaches with DC, but also your coaches with the U.S. men's national team um, on how to address this situation with your club future. Yeah, I think, look, it's obviously, it's obviously a complicated one, um, like I've said. Um, but, the, you know, the, the, the best thing that, that people have done for me is given their advice. Um, you know, no one has made, you know, no one has put pressure on me to, to do one thing or the other, um, which, is, which is the beauty of it all. And, and you know, obviously I, I can only control so much and, and the clubs can, can control, um, you know, as much as they can as well. So, um, you know, there's a lot of people that have been giving me advice um, but uh, really, I've just kind of been taking it all in and, and trying to stay as focused as possible on camp. That's, that's you know, clearly my, my number one um, job right now is, is to be focused here, stay fit, uh, continue to, to gain confidence on the field, uh, and be ready for the games coming up. Next will be John Lugo. Paul, just to talk about the atmosphere in the camp, what you've seen so far, what you like, and what excites you going forward about this team and the group of players that you have there? Yeah, John, look, it's great. The, the, the camp is, is great, and there's always a great energy uh, when you come into camp. Um, you know, we, we've kind of come in at this, at this time where, you know, club teams start to start preseason, and, and it's, a, it's a really tricky window, obviously, um, you know, this window coming up because, you know, for, for us currently in camp, a lot of the MLS guys, um, you know, are, are, are coming off pre, uh, the off season, uh, haven't had uh, a lot of time to, to be with a team. So um, for us, it, it's really just kind of trying to uh, get, as, get as sharp as possible. Obviously, uh, you know, continue to gain fitness uh, for the games that are coming up. And, um, you know, the energy is great here. The vibes are great. Um, you know, this is, a, this, is, this is a brotherhood. This is a family. Uh, and so it's a really enjoyable experience every time. Next would be Carlos Hernandez. Paul, ¿cómo estás? Buenas tardes. Carlos Rodrigo Hernández de Fox Sports México. Preguntarte en ese mismo tenor eh, sobre si ahorita está, hay incertidumbre sobre tu futuro, pero se dice mucho que ya estás en el América de acá de México con las Águilas del la América. La afición está eh, pues contenta con la posible llegada. ¿Qué nos puedes decir esto al respecto? ¿Sí vas a estar jugando con el América? Eh, sí, con, con, todo, con todo respeto, eh, no tengo eh, algo, eh, como se dice, concreto eh, ahorita, de, ahorita de, de mi futuro. Eh, obviamente no, no todo es mi, mi, mi decisión. Eh, si quiero ir a América o no, eh, yo quiero ir a, a, a un lugar eh, que me va a ayudar, que me va a ayudar a eh, llegar al al mundial a, a tener éxito eh, y bueno la verdad no, no puedo controlar todo eh, ahorita sé que los clubes están eh, hablando pero te digo ahorita creo que la eh, la, la, la oportunidad eh, es complicado ahorita eh, por, por decisión de, de club y, y, y bueno, yo tengo todo, todo el, el respeto. Yo entiendo que todo esto es, es un negocio eh, y todo tiene su, su tiempo. Entonces ahorita estoy muy enfocado en, en estar acá con la selección, intentando a, a estar eh, fit, estar confiado en, en, en la selección y, y qué estamos haciendo acá. Entonces eh, quedo, quedo así.